Okay. Let's create some custom fields and a list on our free voice dialer. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create custom fields in a list. This allows you to add additional fields to the agent interface to either display custom data already loaded onto the lead to capture new information or even to display a default field in a new way. The fields are created on a per list basis, meaning that each new custom field is specific to a list. Though they can easily be copied to other lists, as I will demonstrate in my tutorial here. Let's get into it. On the left, click Lists. Then we're going to select a field to which to add our custom fields. Scrolling down to the bottom, we'll see custom fields defined for this list. In my case, I have seven. If you created a new list for this purpose, yours will be set at zero. So let's click, click this link and see what it looks like. So these are my custom fields. Um, I have a marketing director. He gets leads from a lead vendor. He wants to keep uh, information such as an office phone, IP address, if the lead is still with us, i.e. if they're still alive, if the home is vacant, like if they have tenants or whatever, what country are they from, what country are they living in now, and the type of phone they're using. Uh, you know, this is not normally held by the dialer or it is not held in such a way that it is readable to us so I'm creating some custom fields um, so for example I have office phone um, make sure that everything you type in here is database friendly uh, so the field label has to be database friendly and uh, basically this is what your agent will see uh, the field name written in a human readable fashion with a space uh, field description, if you have a need for that, field help. Um, all of these custom fields are actually pretty self-explanatory. Field type. Um, I typically only use text, but if you want to have an area of text, like a whole block of text, like a paragraph, you would use area. If you wanted to have a list of options to select from, you'd use select or multi or radio. Radio button is basically you're, you're using, you're clicking like a button a, a radio button as you've seen on some websites a checkbox is basically you're clicking a checkbox um, date and time will format the text to be readable as a date or a unit of time and so a lot of them like I said are not used I usually just use text um, you can try the other ones um, at your leisure moving on we got so basically they're all set the same way um, this one could be a radio box if you really want to, but I'm just going to leave it as a text field. Uh, same with vacant. And uh, before I forget, field default is, is, is if you leave it uh, blank if they don't have any data in that field. This is basically what will show up in its stead. So I'm leaving it blank, so it'll just stay blank. None of these fields are required. You'll see field required set as no. Uh, so basically, we don't need that uh, to be there necessarily. So these these two uh, fields will stay as, as text, but they can be radio buttons or they can be options. Uh, they can be like a, a select or a radio button. So... Okay, so basically we can create, I'm going to go ahead and create one more custom field. And that field will be as required by our marketing director. It will be next of kin in case their the lead is no longer with us. Or I'll just say no kin. Next of kin. And uh, leads next of kin. 
And once again, it'll be, I believe this is uh, pretty self-explanatory, so I feel, so the help is not needed. Field options is not e needed because it's just text. And I'm just going to go with the same format as the others and hit submit. All right. And we've got our eight custom fields. Let's go ahead and load some leads and we'll see how to line up the data with those new custom fields. We're going to go to, no to load new leads. We're going to go ahead and choose our CSV file. We're going to go ahead and pick our list that has the custom fields, custom layout as the file layout to use. And I'm actually not going to go ahead. I'm not actually not. I'm actually not going to do a duplicate check this time. But I do recommend it if you're loading some leads on a regular basis. Hit submit. And if we scroll down, we can see our custom fields when we line up our data. Let's go ahead and line up our data. So next up, can goes to an OK. Phone type will be lined up to phone type. And as you can see, I have lots and lots of custom fields that I could have added, but uh, my marketing director decided to take it easy on me, and he only needs these eight fields here. So we're going to do country of our current country and country of origin. We are going to we got the vacant. We got let's see, deceased. IP address is right here. Office phone will be tax phone. Um, I won't tell my marketing director about this uh, typo here. Um, we got uh, first name, or rather full name in this case. Address and our city, state. Zip, date, which is the date of birth with respect to uh, our, our list of leads, and email, where are you, email, there you are, and I think, no, that's not the most important part, the phone number, silly me, uh, I believe that's it, let's go ahead and hit OK to process. All right, we just loaded a thousand leads. Let's take a look at our list. There we go. And scrolling down to the bottom, we got our thousand new leads. Let's click our list. And uh, this particular list had a lot of uh, foreign cities with a lot of wildcard characters that don't exist on a American keyboard. So basically, like Rio Gallegos has a lot. Um, it has some accented uh, characters there. That's what you're why you're seeing these uh, cities uh, kind of garbled there. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick a lead at random. And we have our custom fields here. So. We have an office phone. We got our. We have this lead's IP address. Uh, unfortunately, she's no longer with us. The home is vacant. She's from the Ukraine. Currently living in Egypt, or she was currently living in Egypt when she, before she passed. This is the phone type, which is just dummy data, and this is her next of kin. And basically, we can change it if we needed to. And now she's uh, she was using an iPhone when she before she passed, and uh, and as you can see the the field name is what what we see here if we're changing on the back end. So basically, let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and log in as an agent, and we'll see how it looks on that side. Okay. 
So I'm logging into the dialer and we're going to see what it looks like when an agent calls out to these leads. So we're logging in. And I'm going to dial out a number. And basically we have the guy's, uh, or rather the lead's name, his address, his uh, city. And we go to form. We have all of his uh, custom field information here for him. To copy custom fields, you go to the left and click custom fields in the list sub menu here. And we're going to uh, list ID to copy fields from. We're going to go to the list we've been working on, and I'm going to go ahead and send them to list uh, list 9876, and we're just going to append. We're going to set it to append, and we hit submit. So basically, if we go to that new list, we'll see that we now have our eight custom fields in this new list. And that is how you create custom fields within your free voice dialer.